there too. Well, hello, guys. I just oh, wanted to say I love you. If, oh, they had this. <laughs> I didn't even have this song. I'm going to do it. Hey, um, so you just give us maybe a minute or two. finna start sharing the show before we dive into this lovely topic. If you can um, tell by the description of the podcast that it's going to be a doozy even have a video for you so uh we're just going to be talking while we're sharing right here my wife is supposed to be putting her phone on so i'm just that's making it's not my phone that's my watch thing it's it was notifying me that the show was live and that's what Ron doing. williams is live that's what okay. that's what he's doing yes <clears throat> thank you very much okay i see you i see you I ain't mad at you now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So how y'all days been going? Night going? I know a lot of y'all and um, all been in right now. It's probably partying up a little something, song because it's, uh, it's homecoming. All been in state. University. Rams. Blue and gold. If you ain't been at all, Benny. Dang, I ain't really got nothing. You ain't rambling. You ain't <laughs> you ain't rambling. <laughs> you ain't rambling. You ain't rambling. Oh, okay. All been stay round family. Okay, you ain't stay rambling. Family. You ain't rambling. Okay, I ain't never heard like that before. Y'all, please share the show. I can only share three times. And I'm not big only because I want y'all to share. I'm big and because this is some good stuff that we're going to talk about. And um, it's been, um, how can I say, been aired a lot around on different social media platforms and stuff. So this is going to be good. So I'm going to share this one more thing and we're going to go ahead and get it on out of here. Let me see what we had. Wait a minute. When you get it out of here, what do you mean? Like, get, get the message out. out. Yeah, oh, get the message okay. out. Not get out of here. Like, walk I out. Say, nah, we just got started. No, 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 no. No, no. We finna get it, get it, get it in out of here. Get another message on out of here. Right. Mm-hmm. I don't know what he's got to do, but yeah. We are. We, we, you, you, mm-hmm. you, how your day going? Yeah, yeah. Your night going? It's good. How, how about you? Awesome. Okay. Um, had a little um outing just a few minutes ago. Spoil the honey day today, he says. Yeah. Say them booze up you got. <laughs> you suck. <laughs> All right, guys. So the title of the show is hmm. Be my peace and the show is brought to you by lady luxury design homemade jury homemade jury handmade jury i can't even say a thing handmade right. jury, handmade jury. So you're trying to do a business shout out yes business shout out to uh lady luxury design why are you sipping your tea <laughs> okay go ahead what's your last tell? <laughs> Yeah, uh, handmade jewelry, uh, handmade home decor, uh, curvy boutique. You can find her at www. It's only three W's. Dot the lady luxury. Dot com. Nice website. Go ahead and check her we'll out. We'll probably tag that in the comments below because I'm pretty <laughs> sure. Um,
So we are back after our introduction. And we're going to talk about the statement that is popular in a lot of relationships that probably shouldn't be in relationships, but being my peace. There are a lot of guys that say, I just want a woman to be my peace. And um, mm, I I do agree that you, you have to give what it is you expect to get in a relationship. Yeah. I don't know. For me and him, um, he's never come to me with that. Um, I guess in a definition, being my being his peace, and he said it himself several times that I have been like a safe space for him. So I'm already I I am his peace automatically off top. He doesn't have to ask for that. That's a natural given. So yeah. I don't I don't have to fight in that category but for those that do like yeah you gotta kind of think about what you what are you giving what are you putting in in order to get back rowdiness or argumentativeness or for her to be nagging or Mm, when you say nagging so we have a great example um to some of the things that um some man. It's not an example. It's a video that inspired <laughs> this conversation that we're about to have. Um, so yeah. Whew, uh it's just a handful, it's, it's a mouthful. It's, it's, it's a, a mouthful, lie. and we're I out, agree with it. Out there, we're gonna talk about it deep, you know, and um see what you guys think as well. Um, if you're listening to us um uh, on YouTube, please comment uh what you think about this video and if you're and the video is by ace metaphor yes. off his uh instagram page it's like a topic he discussed like way 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 down but um we just haven't come across it so yeah if you want to find out the source of the video it is ace metaphor on ig want me to be my piece no the f- you don't you want a woman that won't question you when you bring in chaos in her life talking about be my peace how you want her to be your peace when all you doing is bringing nightmares in her life and every time she speaks up you say she's disturbing your peace of course she is because you cheating you ain't available you don't validate her when you say you want a woman to be your peace you mean you want a woman that don't speak up for herself that don't call you out on your mother bullshit if you not doing bullshit, shit is peaceful. You don't even have to say be my peace when you are bringing peace. What peaceful ass nigga has ever had to say be my peace? The chaotic men, the disrespectful men, cheating men, the men that got fucking problems, the men that want to have their cake and eat it too, those are the men that scream, I want a, I want a woman to be my peace. <laughs> So, I'm going to ask you to. Oh, I knew he had an ace in the bag. He always got something for me. You being your safe space? Not even me, just being a woman in general. Okay. Hearing that, first, I want to ask Have you ever had anyone come and say, hey, I need you, I, I, I just need you to be my piece? No. Okay. Not in so many words, but I will say that was my other question. Have in you, a previous relationship, it was oh, we always gotta be, oh, there you go. When I did get kind of rowdy or uproared, it was like, okay, we've had this conversation before. Why are we still beating a dead horse? Or why can't we make some changes to make this better? Mm-hmm. And it was like, oh, there mm-hmm. you go, getting all ghetto and ratchet. It's always cons- or loud. We why we always gotta argue about it. You always gotta have the last word, or why it always gotta be this that, and the other. You know, it just was. So is it a con- lot of disagreement going on? So do you find yourself hearing? I didn't feel like I was his piece. Hearing men feel as though when y'all are in nagging, nagging and loud being, and arguing or yeah. constantly talking about the same conversation or contesting. Mm. their possible logic is it considered ghetto um i guess there is a classy way to do everything um without getting 
ghetto. Um, well, well most. I often say most people, and I say about a good 85% of people, if they are in a state where they're trying to get a point across and the person's repeating stuff back that doesn't line up with what they're trying to say, they will raise their voices and become like, you know, you ain't even listening to me or da 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 da. And they got to get out of pocket. And that could be seen as combative, contestive, uh, or nagging. Okay. Okay. So. Is it necessary? Should it be necessary? No. Do I want to do it? No. All right. I'm a. Uh, I feel that's a part of ineffective communication, but. I'm a turn for this one here. Oh, Lord. <laughs> kind of look at you. Oh, my God. <laughs> look at you on this one here. Um, Conversation got serious. Well. <laughs> You know, we just recently had a talk. You know, I had just bought you a couple of things. Not today. Oh, not today. Uh, yesterday. Was it yesterday? It was Thursday. Thursday? Yes. Yeah. And um, actually, I've, I've just, here these past couple of days, I've bought you some things, period. Mm -hmm. And clothing. Mm -hmm. And, you know, my explanation because mm -hmm. I buy you stuff anyway but mm -hmm. definitely here recently my explanation was due to a discomfort when I when I say discomfort and I was meaning as in you know you you're you're not seeing your like you know um your yacht appearance when it comes to shape, physically, you know, physically yeah. and stuff, right? And while you know, I get a, a brief sense of chaos in a sense, or just right. And we on the podcast. We, and raw, oh raw, God. raw, and natural. You got kids. What do they say? They say have kids. They say <laughs> it'll be, be great. <laughs> oh my God! Some days I wonder. <laughs> <laughs> so, and not like chaos, as in you just like pulling your hair chaos. Just a little chaos in the sense of I got to do better type thing, right? And so, and until you do better, because I can't just. Flip and change uh, and mold, right? So if you could flip and change and mold, what would you move first? What would I move first? Yeah. Why would you ask me that question? I don't know, because I mean you saying you can't flip and change. Because that's what men do though. That's how men look in uh when them uh so appearance. You don't think maybe you've done that in other ways? But I don't want to physically mold your appearance. I told you and, and regardless of the shape size that you are, I am very comfortable with you. Right. So hence for me going so you, to you feel like maybe me not being in comfortable in my skin affects me being your piece or at peace with no, I don't even want to go that way. I was finna go to the point of me trying to assist or extend peace your way because you're going through a transition, you know, you're working on it, and so while you're working on it. You know, me getting you something that um, complements where you're at so that you won't feel as, uh, and because you know how, and it's just anybody, even me, hell, I do it. I don't like the way this feels. You know, I don't like the way this look on me, you know. Uh, and then so you have a tendency to feel bad about yourself or uh, hence the, 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 the chaos. Because sometimes you put something on and you had a look on your face of, <laughs> um, I don't really like this. Yeah, yeah, you know, and even though I may, at the end of the day, still, you gotta wear it. Yeah. So here, I've been trying to possibly get something that you know 
I like, but then you may like too, but then it may also look okay on you to the point that you still put it on. You know, I like that particular dress, but if you don't like the way you fit on you, I don't want you. I feel like I'm not being your piece if I'm worried about because I like you. And you be saying, you know, but if you like it, you know, I wear it. I get that too. <laughs> but, you know. Yeah. So you have done well at, you know, stepping in to make sure you are my piece. Yeah. Is that what you wear? I guess. Maybe. It's just a statement. Yeah, a it was just a statement. It's telling the story all wrapped in one, pretty much, I guess. Have I ever given you space and opportunity to feel like, uh, this ain't a peaceful situation. I need to get out. Or I'm not at peace with what's going on right now. Not you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if I have, no, no. it's okay. No, I mean, no, no, that's no. What we no. Need to discuss that old no. No, not conversation you. that not necessarily want to be discussed. No, not not you, but I do want to bring up the I'm not going to say uncontrollable outer issues, yeah. but um, you do find yourself in a relationship where you're going to have outer issues. So, yeah, I, I can say based on your story, you've been in a situation where the peace of the whole situation was disturbed and the, they were in that peace with what was going on or they were doing, you know, things like Mr. The, the, the guy was saying in the video, you know, mm-hmm. it's other external things going on that were causing it to be uncomfortable mm-hmm. for everybody. Mm-hmm. And, you know, hey, you you just don't do this for me. Or you don't do that for mm-hmm. me. Or I need this. Or I, I need that. It, but because that they're not getting from you what it is they really want. And they're hoping to get it from somebody else. And they ain't getting it there either. So, you know. I don't even think that was said. But then I can even go further. They probably didn't say it out loud, but I'm sure in my actions speak louder than words. Yeah. yeah. They were not at peace or happy with the decisions made because they were too busy trying to focus on other stuff, do other things, make other things happy, other people happy. Fix and make peace with other situations Mm -hmm. instead of the home front situation. So you can't can't make peace out there Mm -hmm. and then come home and make peace too. That, you know, conflict of interest. Well, also add with that. Or a matter of that's what goes into trying to make everybody happy, but you really ain't happy at the end of the day. Mm. And then even that other piece that I was, you brought up that piece, which I wasn't thinking about that piece. And that is, oh, it disappeared. Um, yeah, but I was talking about the outer other piece. Right. The side piece will disturb the piece. I ain't, I ain't talking about side pieces. I'm talking about the extra pieces. They end up coming such when as you got kids. give an example when you got kids you have when you, you separate from the other parental parents boyfriends the exes oh yeah they yeah. all refer to as side pieces they don't, they don't get they no special they, comp they ain't no side piece because they ain't still in the mix oh you mean side pieces they ain't in him they ain't but they you know, they try to be in him you know so you can um you, you have peace as you have peace as a couple and um I it could be a very you know um having what is that called a family a, a mixed family and the supposed other parents are involved because they got this view of certain stuff and if they coming from a controlling um background they feel as though that they can also bring that controlling aspect into you know, your household and if you're you and your partner have a a cohesive peace among each other that can also just like kind of disrupt it in a sense Right. Mm-hmm. So then that's up to both parties involved to continue to be each other's peace in order to right. keep the peace in the relationship. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. So and it can be hard, you know, depending on what level is coming at you and whatnot. And but 
pretty much what she just stated. You still have to be able to sit down and say uh, what we talked about, uh, what communication. Mm-hmm. Um, your cousins, when they were guest starring. Mm-hmm. Uh, communication. Communication and comprehending what's being said, too. Um, we can communicate all day long, but if you're not receiving it or trying to receive it, it's like, it's what's the point? Of, yeah, being no? a dead horse in some in so many ways. Yeah. Yeah. But um I'm pretty much like him though. Being me, I don't feel the need. I shouldn't have to. As yeah. your partner to be your piece. Now, well, you I would hope that you wouldn't have to. I do again. understand me coming to you. And saying, babe, especially like if I had an extremely hard day, mm-hmm. you don't know I had an extremely hard day. And I come in and I'm like, hey. Until you say something. Yeah. Listen, the day was hard. I just really want to lay. Like I had text you and said, man, I need to go home and I need to have a stiff one. A real hard one. Yeah. But it was something that was also disturbing your peace too. But it was an external fact. It wasn't necessarily me. But it was a matter of I don't let that get you down you know you know where you stand as a person as a man and you know what uh, what really just works well for you so don't let that get you to the point where you feel like oh I'm stressed out and I gotta have this and I need a drink for peace that was my take on it I wasn't oh. saying don't have a drink oh no 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 I know I, what you, that I know was what you meant. perfectly fine you yeah. know we all need that at some point that break in you know yeah Reality to kind of get yourselves together, get your head together, get your head in the game. You know, take sit one out for a minute and be like, you know what, man, that really got to me. That really got into my feelings. It really disturbed my personal peace. Yeah, and more than anything. So, I mean, like, we. But I was able to still give you room to, you know, have that peace of mind and kind of step back a little bit. Um, and if I didn't. What can I do to help make you at peace with that situation? I mean, we may not want to discuss it on air per se. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so this is, is Mr. that Take something over. we would need to have a follow up conversation about? And you just obviously entered the sweat room. Oh no. my God. <laughs> um, no one's interrogating you. No um, one's forcing you to do anything. Mm-hmm. But I am opening the door to be your peace. And give you options on how to resolve that you situation. Say, well, what else could you do? And I thought we was entering the sweat room, you know. Oh, you talking about doing that, boy? Come on, we on we live on a podcast and and and, and stuff. <laughs> oh my god, he's so nasty. <laughs> but I, the audacity of uh, uh, sometimes I really don't understand, man. People trying to I don't understand me. Tell you, uh, I mean. You what out here cheating, like he's do. saying. You out here cheating. Not to cut you off, baby, but you out here cheating. You out here doing stuff. You ain't got no business. You ain't. You ain't like trying to hold the house down, mm-hmm. and because you can't be out there, because you coming back home, and you looking at what's at the house, you need peace now because you can't get outside. Mm. Like, who issue is that? How is that her issue? That's a personal yeah, that's a personal issue. I, I just said, it kills me how um how we. <laughs> but again, like he was saying, you know, that's a you problem. Like, if you doing stuff here, you ain't got nothing to doing. You are bringing other external issues onto yourself that toxic. don't have to be brought on for you. Being toxic, so you're disturbing the peace. You're disturbing the peace and asking for, for peace. For somebody like, to give you peace that you are disturbing. Oh, what was always another video uh, this guy on YouTube, he says um, if you, it's, it, uh, he goes, well, if you're giving a woman something, she takes it and she multiplies it. So, if you give her peace, she give you peace. But she oh, don't just give it peace to you the same way. She multiplies, she amplifies yeah. it. Like you give a her a seed, seed she, she gave you a baby. baby. You give yeah. her some groceries, you know, she'll give yeah. you a meal. Yeah. You, know, you give her a piece of wood and she probably help build you a house. Yeah. You know, 
and again, at the end of the day, if you're doing right by your partners and you're putting in the good thing, good, the things that you want mm-hmm. out of the relationship, you'll get that out of the relationship. And I'm going to be the first to say, if you ain't heard this, if you are putting in something peaceful in the relationship and you ain't getting back peace, that should tell you well, to, you might, uh, you might want to check that out. You might want to check out. Check yourself first. Yeah. And then check your partner. Don't, um, I would say don't bash your partner, especially if um, it comes down to, uh, hey, Shabu. Um, if it comes down to, uh, you think something might be going down for real. You know, I would delicately approach the situation and be like, hey, babe, look, I don't know what's going on, but uh, things ain't been as smooth at home as they normally would be or they used to be. You know, can we discuss what's going on? Let me guess. You've been there, done that, tried that, and didn't work, huh? I'm a runner. I'm a track star. <laughs> Get on Some people that. do <laughs> just really take time and run from run from peace or try to run to peace with cans attached to their legs and making all kinds run. of noise. That was, and my, that was my peace. That was, man, I would tell you this. I have never mm-hmm. in my entire life. Mm-hmm felt a relief of pressure sitting in the back seat of a car leaving that situation oh literally once we crossed out of the actual uh state and not the state now we want it was a long way from outside of the state but the city itself the the parameter oh, wow. city we, line? the parameter of the city like dang I, i'm glad i left that behind on a back seat, and then I got the phone call. Oh, you lied about leaving. Then you know, too late now. I'm in the car. I ain't coming back. Even though I had to come back anyway. To, well, at least I thought I had to come back to get some stuff that was already gone and burnt. But that's beside mm. the point. Uh, <laughs> but you had gotten your peace. That was your closure. Should have kept going. Well, well no, I did. I didn't, oh, okay. you know, I, I, I had to, I had to go back. I had to, I had to go back. I had to take an individual back. Oh, yeah. oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So it wasn't like uh, I was going back to figure some stuff out. But seriously, man, like you can't cry wolf and say, "Oh, be my peace, be my peace. I need to be my peace." Oh, I need this when I come home. I need that no. when I come home. And you're not giving, you're not, you're not putting that in. You ain't, hey, baby, I had a hard day today. You know, can we just sit down and have a bit of yellow you know, real quick? You'd be surprised. She might be like, yeah, uh-huh. look at that. Let's sit down and talk about it. You know? Yeah. And I, you know what? I get, Again, I can say that it's it's not something that I ask. Uh, it's a couple of things that when we first started talking, you was like, I don't do this. I don't do that. I don't like this. It's like anime. Yes, I watch anime. Mm-hmm. Anime, and you made it perfectly clear. I do not. I, I just don't like it. It's just never. It's just never, never been, been, been my thing. never been my thing. But my baby sits down, and I can tell when she don't like a show because she'll start picking at it. And start pulling <laughs> and she'll start saying, joking on it and saying stuff about it. But then, you know, there's times where even with the kids, we have family time where we will watch the anime. Yeah. But then it's the same thing as some of her little. Uh, but they be watching the prime. Oh, listen, don't they be hate. watching the prime. Like, um, are, some of the members on the do have watched some with me. That's what and I'm you saying. were like, oh, that was actually kind of legit. <laughs> so don't do me. The little ratchet boot. <laughs> the little ratchet boot. My little, the little bootlegs. Bruh. Well, they, they were what recorded they with an iPhone. <laughs> Why you say Android? <laughs> Android's going to do that boot. <laughs> really? Mm. But. That'll be another podcast conversation for another day. We'll you got never. It ain't but two of y'all. To the rest of us. It ain't but it's just one In extra y'all. Oh dang. Yep. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Oh, whatever. Boo. Tashawn, if you're still watching, baby, I need you, girl. Ah, don't be trying to call <laughs> me. <laughs> you know what? My, my iPhone, that would have been cool, man. You've we been really out number. Yeah. But so toxicity. You out here asking for peace. Make sure you give a little peace in return. And it ain't just picking at men either. Cause it's women. It's too. some men that are uh, actually peaceful and women. I, I know this started off and it is like a 80% um, shot at men asking, you know, a woman for peace and they're not really bringing peace. Percentage of women out there this. Uh, I feel like it goes both ways. It's definitely a vice versa thing. <laughs> Because again, if I come home every Hello. day and I got issues, my sister say she here. She iPhone. Oh my bad, I cut you off. I'm sorry. I just had to make that clear that I didn't. Knew you that. didn't cut me off. I just wanted to make sure that everybody. I got quiet so you world. could bang on the table and make all that noise like you're doing something. Uh, as my friend would say, "You done?" I just, I you just got had, it all out. I just cut you with that spade. You finished? I just bam. You you had a heart, and I just. That little three of spades. <laughs> oh, you got to come better than that. <sighs> but yeah, if you if you expecting peace, give some peace back. If you expecting a little loving, you got to give a little loving to give a little loving, you know? Yeah. I, you I, come at me angry and mad and you want to slap the crap out of me. And, oh, I'm just upset with you. You should have did something, something, something. Why my dinner ain't ready? I don't know. First of all, sir. Right. My name ain't Patty and I ain't perfect. Second of all, you can just talk to me like a human being. Mm. And third, um, we should have made those demands known prior to being in a relationship. You don't even cook. So how you going to ask me to have a meal ready for you at the end of the day? 95% of men do not cook. It's a very small percentage of men that cook and expect a hot meal to be on the plate when uh, on the table when they get home. But what is, what is what is I don't know what is the definition of peace for some people? So everybody's definition of peace is different. I don't know. Some, wait, wait, some men on. want hot meals. Wait. Some you, you know they they that's... give it these urban dictionary definitions nowadays. Mm-hmm. Like, girl, you know. But you know, I'm... peace. Um, it really. Let's see. Uh, uh-uh, baby, that's not that, why you Google got you wrong. Just give me the definition of peace, sweetie. Because oh, definition. Oh uh, no, just, yeah, take that I'm off. Never, the end of... I just say. Because yeah, peace ain't just for men, it's for peace. What if I say that? Oh, peace, man. That is not going to give you a <laughs> man places a zen life state when one or more men sit around drinking beer without the need to say a word. <laughs> Are you serious? Oh, boy. Man, peace is when two of my male housemates, I guess. Man. Why not come home and say, babe, I just need a little peace, a little quiet. Let, let's have a bill together. Then I, I just said that. <laughs> wow, that is, I did not know that was a thing. So you trying to sit up here and say, our peace is is pretty much sitting, sitting down, down and drinking a beer? After the, a long day. You might as well, just, you, you set yourself up for that. I'm just going here <laughs> and um, look up the definition <laughs> of peace by itself because I don't, oh, God. I don't know what that is. You can't make this up. And then it keeps coming up. <sighs> It would definitely be a question of what is peace for you? What is peace? For Freedom you? from disturbance, disturbance or tranquility. tranquility. So again, the a state of period ask, where there is no war or war was need it, a war has ended. But like you said, and how you and like he said, how are you gonna ask for peace and you're causing I mean uh chaos yourself? Right. Like, so you I mean it's again a game of give and take. You if you're giving it, you know what you're getting back in return. You know you out there in the streets doing stuff you ain't got no business doing and you coming home to her because you mad because your side piece didn't give you the piece you were looking for. You know what I'm saying? You can't ah. be mad that oh, I just want to come home and have a little peace. Hmm. Uh, oh, okay. I don't think they're done that, huh? So that's that's what we're doing? Yeah. No, we, we're not going to do that. Hmm. Especially in the case that she done did everything right. She got your food ring for you. You were late getting home. So t- not a food cold. You can't be mad about that. Let me tell y'all this story. You know, right, so peace can be um how peace can be disrupted. Yeah, how peace can be disrupted. Um like I mean, I don't know what I was thinking, but I thought maybe I'll cook this nice romantic meal. You didn't cook no croissants with peanut butter on them. No, no, 
no, I got some full fledged meal. Clean the house. Uh, girlfriend. Now that's peace there. Ooh, baby. Girlfriend was at work. I come home to that regularly. I love peace. Girlfriend was at work, right? And uh, she's supposed to be getting off at 11 o'clock. And probably stayed five minutes away from the job. Mm. I done turned on the slow music, you know, got the candles going. And, um, you know, when the person worked at, you really don't have to do nothing but stand now, right? That's it. Just stand now. And um, and for y'all's information, he is not referring to me at all. In this <laughs> no, this was a long time ago. This was the early 2000s. Uh, and the person came home around about 2, 3 o'clock. Mm. Shirt all wrinkled. Oh, my God. And I'm like, where uh, have you been? <laughs> you know, your job uh, description <laughs> so was, should make your shirt. You know, wrinkled like that. And yeah, we got into it. I would have told her, oh, somebody had jacked me up a lot. <laughs> you know what? Somebody actually did her jack up. And rob her. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> so, rob her of her cookies uh -uh. <laughs> on purpose. Yeah. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. Sorry that happened to you. Oh, no. I'm just saying. It was just like, I'm sitting up here. Hey. Peaceful situation, and but they then made she it seem your peace. they personally made it seem as though I was the one causing the chaos because now it's two o'clock, you ain't home. I'm calling around, I'm looking, I'm like, Dude. what you calling around looking yeah, for? Yeah, right. Maybe we in a relationship, I'm supposed to be concerned about you, I'm supposed to care about you. 11 o'clock to two to three. He said, That's a nice gap. Yes, so she was getting some peace. Uh, yeah, she would get some peace. <laughs> yeah, she got her peace. All right, but anyway, um, uh, so yeah, what you guys think? Um, uh, definitely what is peace to you, men. Uh, um, are you out here being someone's chaos and asking for peace? Stop, <laughs> quit, don't be unpeaceful, right? Just and, and don't be out here peacing. Uh, taking peace, causing chaos because you're taking pieces of other pieces that you aren't supposed to be taking peace from. And then mm -hmm. don't come home to the one you expect to be mm -hmm. the peace and mm -hmm. be like, you ain't my peace. Mm -hmm. This ain't gonna work. You know, a lot of folks uh, do that just in order for them to leave too, to go back to the other piece. Ooh. Huh. I said a lot right there. Y'all going out here starting all these arguments so that I can get an excuse you to know, leave. You know, that would be something I hated. Don't argue with me and leave the house. We are uh -uh, no, sir. I'm coming with you because you're tripping. <laughs> no. Nope. All right. You want to leave? All right. I'm going to lock the door. You better be glad I can't change the locks on the door because you can't come back in here. You come back in. Oh, I did that one time. Oh, it started that bad argument. We was already arguing. They decided that they wanted to drive off and leave the house. I closed. I didn't. I closed, I put. What did I put? A chair or something behind the door. Mm -hmm. And uh, they came back and they opened the door and I heard them when they came in. But I, I was sleeping on the couch. They weren't sitting there with me. <laughs> they weren't gonna disturb my peace and my sleep with that foolishness. So I just wasn't gonna do it. Okay. Yeah, that that started a big argument. I, I had to call the bobos that night. See. They tried to break the door down and everything. Mm, 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 mm. Kids was in the room and uh, and uh, eventually I gave in and was like, God damn. They barred it. They, I opened the door and I was like, hey, then open the door. Let's back up and calm down. It's okay. Yeah. You know, my liberty ass standing behind the door. I unlocked the door. Oh! <laughs> it was it was tragic for me. I was devastated. I was not at peace. Wow. So yeah. <sighs> and that happened quite a lot. True. Yeah. A lot of un unpeaceful disturbances. Why or what they were about? I couldn't tell you. I just remember they were very significant moments in my mind that made me not do a lot of things or not or saying that you know what, I ain't gonna argue with nobody, and that's probably one of the reasons why. Sometimes, I, well, no, I'm gonna say one of the reasons why I used to hold things in and not talk about them readily because I didn't want to argue with nobody. Mm -hmm. 
But again, you've made it safe for me to be able so, so, da, da, da. I can come to you peaceful state or I can come to you and I ain't got to worry about you blowing up on me like this and I wouldn't say it that you, I ain't got to worry about that you know if I come but if I come to you kind of hype you know you're gonna hype me back a little bit you, you, you do that sometimes but it's okay though mm-hmm. but again that's a good example to say hey what you what I give is what you what I get back also. So if I come to you and say, well, babe, you know, I just, I just didn't like how yeah. that situation ended the other day versus he'd be looking at me and he'd be looking at me sideways, y'all. <laughs> so if you want peace in a relationship, my best advice is give peace in the relationship. All right, but that, you know, and that's that. all I got to say about that. You know what I'm saying? Check yourself. If you know you're messing up at the end of the day, know you're doing stuff wrong at the end of the day, know you're not doing the right thing. Don't ask for peace. And you don't ask for no peace. Don't ask for Because so what you're finna get is trouble. Trouble. Okay, you'll get yourself in trouble. 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 You're probably gonna, yeah, it's gonna be some slapping, kicking, punching, mm-hmm. fighting. And God forbid that peace is validated with proof. Mm. Oh. Mm. oh. So that's why you was acting all funny, cause I know I ain't did nothing to you. Mm-hmm. Mm. Coming here all ticked off with me, cause somebody else didn't do what you wanted them to do. Mm. Oh no 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 no! Mm. <laughs> We're not gonna do that, there. Yep, we're not done that too. Mm. But yeah, guys, we you can know, go on forever and ever about disturbing the people. Definitely, please. Uh, you know, it, it helps the algorithm if you share this not only on Facebook. Um, the podcast. Double tap. Give us, give us um, some hearts. Like double tap the podcast. It got a light, a heart on it. On, on we got a star. Uh, we got a heart. There are stars on. We got on stars on Facebook. Yeah. Uh, so if you um love our content, you know you want it does help. You know supporters. We're not by, asking for money. Yeah, but if you, you know, want to make just, a donation, just you stars. You know, feel free. But definitely, if there are any topics, topics that you yes. guys really want to we're like open books we DM love us. um dm us at mr and miss take over the world on ig also on tiktok um sofa pillow talk here on facebook even one of our personal pages mm-hmm. you know? say uh, you know if you want to be anonymous and you just want us to talk about something say, hey i got this issue here and um and at the moment why the getting is good we do offer anonymous availability of talking things out. You need someone that's unbiased um, when it comes to mm-hmm. um, just, even hey, if it's listen, just um, venting. 100% no judgment zone, and I have been through some things. <laughs> we both have. <laughs> right, so he got 13 years, I got 10. Mm. 10 to 13. Yeah, I, yeah, I was with one, two person for 13 years. And then prior to that, I had a little bit of experience. Oh, I'm telling my age now, Jesus Christ. <laughs> you are not old. <laughs> no, no, no. Stop that mess. But I am experienced. I may not be old, but I am experienced. Uh, Google, why ain't nobody talking to you, child? <laughs> Ooh, these dogs on phones. They do not give you no peace. Oh. <laughs> Well, until next time, guys. Let me see who we got on. Um, as they next would say, um, Saturday. Do we have anybody? As on? TikTok say, be somebody's piace. Oh, piace. <laughs> piace. Peace. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wait, hold on. Oh, piace. Oh, no. yes. Next week, next Saturday, October the twenty second, we will have. I think it's the. Is it the Calvins? Uh, I'm going. I'm going. Our lovely I'm going. friends. I'm going. I think it's the Calvin. I'm going. You sure? Yeah. I think. Sure. Yeah. The Calvin. The Calvin's next Mr. week. Mr. and Mrs. Oh, Calvin. They are so good. sweet. I love them. That's oh, my God. Show. That's going to be yeah. a good shot. Yeah, we're going to have a good time next weekend. Mm, for sure. Yeah. So, tune in with us, and we'll catch you then. Until next time. Bye. 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 Okay. Yeah. Just-